So we're here at Rocco in Tel Aviv at Eurovision. Hello. Hello. How is everything going? How was the second round of rehearsals? Uh, second rehearsal was even better than the first yeah. one. We, we liked it and I hope you liked it. And uh, yeah, we're really satisfied with our rehearsals and how everything is going. I think it's going to be good. So I think you have the distinction of being the youngest contestant this year. Is that is that right? I think there are some young, younger. Yeah. I think Zena from Belarus is 16. Oh, right, right. She looks like she's 20, but she's 16. <laughs> well, uh, I won't tell her you said that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, you know, she, she looks older, uh, but not bad older. You know, yeah, she sings mature. very good. She's mature. Uh, so when I heard she was 16, I was like, okay, I'm not the youngest, but I was also like, wow. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm I'm curious about how like what you see as your future after this contest because you've you're so young and you've got yeah. a long road of performing ahead of you. Um, yeah. I, we hope. I hope. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I think I'm going to record some new songs yeah. after the Eurovision. I have to graduate high school after the Eurovision. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but yeah, there's a long road ahead of me, so uh, I'm just going to sing and enjoy my life. And what's your favorite subject in school? And don't say music. Ooh, it's not music. It's actually logic. I don't know if you have it. In logic. It. Yeah. Like like uh, philosophy or math. Similar to philo, it's something between philosophy and math. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That's cool to know. So one other thing I was going to ask you because. Um, I know Dora, the contest that you yeah. were in, it was the first time it came back this year, yes. for a, first time in a long time. After eight years. Eight years. Oh, yeah. um, it looked amazing. It looked like a really good effort by Croatia to bring yeah, back some life job, yeah. into um, the, the process. How did you find that? Like, how did the fans react to that and Croatia? Is, is there more interest in Eurovision, do you think, because of that? Uh, Yeah, I'm 100% sure that it is. Because, you know, uh, when we don't have our national election, uh, then Eurovision just comes in May and it's like, okay, Eurovision is starting. Right, right, right. But now when we had it in, in February, yeah. uh, everyone is preparing uh -huh. for three months for May. And uh, it's definitely better because it's such a good platform for young people. For exactly. young people who sing, uh, because you know, I became a star over the night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Dora, thanks to HRT, yeah. uh, and thanks to Jacques who wrote the song. Right. It's crazy. And so now, if Dora 2020 is announced, we're going to be expecting you to at least yes. be back there and. Yes, I'm going to give her a reward to, to yeah. the winner, I guess so. Exactly. Uh, I'm definitely going to be there. Great. I'm going to support all the singers, uh, all the contestants, and uh, support the future Croatia representative. Okay, well, I wish you the best of luck and so um, we'll be seeing you, uh, when is it? Tuesday, no, Thursday. Thursday, Thursday yeah. night. All Thursday. right, well, tune in and watch Roko and vote for Croatia. Yeah. <laughs> best of luck. Thanks. Thank you.